Hey guys, so it's time for the final part. Uh, so the final uh, part three of the equivalent of the um, extension pack, but individual uh, figurines. Okay, so uh, let's just take a quick look. This is gonna be my first Mectagon unboxing. As you can see, this is part of the game Surge. Uh, Mectagon, here's Venexis. I hope it's a darkest one. If not, I'm gonna have to rethink my team of Mectagons. No, basically, I want just to collect darkest or Pyrus. But before, I was deciding on which of my Bakugan and Gandalian Invaders was the lowest. And then eventually, I'll buy the whichever attribute at uh, the lowest. I'll buy that from in the Mectanian search. But anyways, I decided just to get some darkest one in Pyrus. As you can see here, this is Venexis. Cool looking alien thingy. He has a nice little thing there. Auto transform. It's kind of like pretty cool. And this is Venexis, swipe a battle activator, activate, swipe and battle. Oh. So it comes with one Mectagon, one ability card, and one gate card. I wish that the nanos came with at least an ability card or a gate card, but I guess they're not gonna put it. So let's take a look. Real diecast metal. Um, you can see the cards inside. Venex is 02. I don't know what the 02 means. Okay, so let's take a look at the box behind the box. Here's a Venexis with uh, Aquos one. You just swipe the card somewhere in the back. Nice little feet. Little cool looking. It's like in the halo, those little thing there. Little guns. The next is you can enter it in dimensions as well. Comes with an activator. And did I check if it comes with an activator? Oh, it doesn't come with a gate card. Anyways, let's just check it out after. So, yep. Yeah. It's really cool. So, let's just. Oh, here. Mectagon, one ability card, one Mectagon activator. Doesn't come in a gate card, but anyways. So let's just open this up. Take a look at the cards first. It comes in plastic wrappings, which is really sticky to take off. Be careful here, or I don't know it's sticky. Okay, so here's the one ability card and one Mectagon activator. This is really cool. It's nice. So it's not the same color as uh, these cards. Um, nice Mectagon symbol. Red as the Bakugan uh, symbol. Also uh, Mectagon surge here. So let's take a look. My Nexus. Looks really nice. Looks like a praying mantis or somewhat. Kind of Bakugan. He has the nice little claws there. It's really cool. And this is the, the ma uh, magnet card. Here's an ability card. Power level 1. Doesn't have any upgrades. Looks like a Venexus. This is Venexus ability card. So Venexus. Play during a battle where you have an Nexus with a cross striker attached, changed one gate 
bonus to zero. That's pretty cool. Except I don't have a cross striker. Maybe I'll get one. In the nano. This is part of the two out of four A. Pretty cool. Nothing more to say here. Nice little empty thing there. Nice little guns in front that that didn't activate. Okay. So let's take a look. My first Mctanium Bakugan. Mctagon. So this is Nexus. Looks really nice. Nice little black details on it. This Venexus is different from the extension pack. The extension pack has a gray head or something like that. Nice little see it looks like a praying mantis type thing. But no claws. Here's nice little metal plating. According to the back of the box, this is like Silver or this, but it's not. So these are plastic ones. You can see. You can rotate the arms, shoulder, and elbow, fingers. Okay. It's really cool. It's nice plastic. Joints there. A little bit of. These are hard to fold. No bending here. Just twisting here, just in there. And I guess this is where the the magnet is. Don't see where you can put the nanos. Okay, so it's pretty loose. I don't know why it's like that. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's try this. Ooh. Yes, it's the darkest one. It's really cool. As you can see the silver here. This, this is the antennae thingy. Nice little big eyes. Uh, 180G. That's a really powerful one. Nice little chest guns. Duo. It's really cool. I still don't see where you put the, the nanos, uh, I guess here. So let's see if there's anything in the back. No. So I guess you put the nanos here. This one. This one, let's see, it's really cool too. But oh, I guess you can hold it too. And uh, here, there, that's better. That's cool. Except it's backwards. Let's just put it right side up. All in all, it's a nice. And whoever thought we'd be playing with action figures like. This one, it's really cool. Nexus, nice little, little details on that. I didn't paint this side too. So let's try transform this back. I guess it's just like that. Put the head in. And that's it. Tip these are loose. One pops out, the other one put one back, the other one pops out. Other than that, it's a really cool figure. So that's it for this review. I don't know if there's any more 
It's really loose. Okay, so this is first review. What the hell is going on? That's it for this review. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll be doing a few more Mectagons. If I find any one that I like. If not, I'm not going to be doing a lot of those. So, thanks for watching. Hey guys, check it out. I found a way to put your uh, Mectagon inside one of these cases. Except that you're going to have to put your card somewhere else. Let's see, managed to fit it in here. Down. And there you go, there's Venexus, really comfortable lying down inside the, the case. Really cool. Just to see. But of course, you lose the card spaces. See? It closes really well. So, there you go. One way to carry around your uh, Mectagon. Uh, thumbs up if you like my idea of putting it there. Or I tried fitting it here, but it didn't really fit. So, give me the thumbs up.